You know, the world isn't what it's meant to be. Not one of us is what we were meant to be. Now, there's no question about this. This is the great message of the Bible. Where was man meant to be? Was he meant to be in this world as it is tonight? Most certainly not. This world has become Egypt. Where was man meant to be? He was meant to be where he first was, in paradise. The Almighty God made a perfect world, and he made men perfect. We must start with this. Man was never meant to be what he is. He was never meant to be where he is in this world as it is tonight. He was there in paradise in utter, absolute perfection. He was perfect as God made him in his own image. So you see, man as he is, as he finds himself in this world by nature, He is not in the right position. He is not in the right place. We were meant to be living under the smile of God. We were meant to enjoy fellowship with God. We were meant to live a kind of righteous and holy life as the companions of God. That was what the human race were, was destined for. That is what we were all meant to be. We were meant, I say, to be living in the sunshine of God's face. We were meant for joy, for happiness, for peace, mutual understanding. We were meant together as God's people ever to live as under his eye and to walk and to live and to work and to do all we do for his everlasting glory. And as we were doing so, we were meant to have his blessings showered upon us. But you see, that isn't the case, is it? Indeed, that is the whole trouble with the world tonight, that it is not living in the sight of God and in the face of God. It is not living under God's blessing and benediction and benison. No, no, it's the exact opposite. The world is out of position, it's out of place, and everybody that is in it. We've all become unnatural. Man as he is is a travesty of what man was meant to be. I think I once quoted a saying of an old uh, preacher of some three centuries ago who said this, which is nothing but the simple truth about man as he is by nature. It, he said, you know, you sometimes go into the country and you suddenly see a ruins, an old castle or something. Utter ruin, with ivy and thorns growing all over it. It's the place where the animals play, there it is, just a ruin. But you see a notice, an inscription saying, once upon a time, so and so, some great name, lived And that is the condition and the position of the soul of men at the present time, said that old preacher. Man is a ruin. And on the ruin you can put this inscription, God once lived here. But he's no longer there. He's no longer there. Man is living a life without God. Away from where he was meant to be. But it's even worse than that, you see. He is under the wrath of God. Now, I don't want to stay with this this evening. But if you were to ask me why the world is as it is this very night, that would be my answer. This is a part of the wrath of God upon man in his sinful, alienated condition. Now, I'm not saying that. That's not my own idea. That is the teaching of this book, the Bible, the Word of God. 